Hello everyone, my name is Avalon and welcome back to the Ocarina Time Randomizer that we're playing. Um, I actually didn't go straight here in the recording, I thought like I'd do it all in one go um, when I recorded the Shadow Temple, but I ended up getting distracted and having to go somewhere else. So I ended up um, coming, going away and coming back and uh, guess who didn't save the game in between things? So I've actually had to redo the whole Shadow Temple, which is always a laugh. But hey, we've done the Shadow Temple, we've got our Golden Gauntlets, and uh, we can finally go and visit Hiss, the last great fairy fountain. Maybe we will get the long shot at some point in this run. I still don't know if we're going to need it. I can't remember if you need it for any of the rooms in, um, in Ganon's castle. But, you know, we've got full health, we've just got a bunch of arrows. Um... Let's hope that we don't need it, because I've got no idea where else it could be, to be honest. We can't get deeper into the Water Temple. We literally did everything we could in the Water Temple. Um, unless it's like the 60 reward for Skulltula, which I suppose is always a possibility. I could go and find out. Um, yeah, do you know what? We'll go find out. I figured, you know... What's the worst that can happen? We, you know, just as I was talking about it potentially being the 60 Skulltula line, you know, it could have been. Now, I've played this randomizer over a very long period of time. Oh, have I not unlocked a new one? Thank you for saving my kids. Oh, I thought I got another reward for the 60. Well, that was stupid, wasn't it? Right, super, we're back. I'm an idiot. 60 skull toolers gets you nothing. I don't know why I went back. Um, but hey, at least we can now rely on the sages to create us this nice little rainbow bridge. And into the Ganon's castle we go. Beautiful plush purple uh, flooring here. Excuse me, Beamos. I don't really want to play this game. They look like I could hit them with the Megaton Hammer. But, you know, we'll, we'll worry about that in a bit. Just going to go left to right, give everything a quick rundown. So we've got a collect the, the rupee room by the looks of things. Start with that one on top of the Beamos. Because it's, you know, <laughs> in an awkward spot. take a few hits as we go around it's no problem uh, you might be wondering where all of my health went um, oh goodness sake just pick up the pick up the rupee man there we go but yeah you might be wondering where all of my health went uh, in between you know me saying oh I'm leaving Kakariko and then arriving here and what happened was is uh, I sped up the emulator so that I could move faster because I'm impatient and uh, what actually happened was a redead got me, and my inputs weren't fast enough to get the redead off. So even with all of my uh... really, even with all of the uh, the health that I've got and all of the defense upgrades that I've got, I guess I can't shoot an arrow through there. Then I'll just have to bomb this bit here. Um, bombs. Super. But yeah, with all of the uh, the upgrades I've got and everything, I uh, oh. um, I could not stand a redead biting me in hyperspeed. What? Am I missing something here? There we go. So what? Oh... It's a bomb chew that I need, not bombs. How foolish of me. There it is. Superb. What I'll do is I'll, I'll edit in a little uh, a little clip of the, um, the hyperspeed just so you can see how insane it is. But we'll get that bit going over there. Awesome. I can't believe how long that took me to, to figure out. Um, I don't have light arrows yet, do I? Where are you supposed to get the light arrows? Uh, 
I don't, yeah, how am I supposed to get through here? Do I have light arrows? Did I pick them up somewhere? I did, they were in Lake, uh, Lake Hillier. No, they weren't. The Zora's River, they were. I can't remember where you would, would have theoretically got them coming up to this point, but hey, we've got them and that's all that matters, and it doesn't work like that, so we will just shoot the faces. Which also don't work like that. What on earth? It's supposed to happen here then. I am well and truly lost in this spirit temple section, which I actually thought was the uh, the fire temple section, but I am just plain wrong on that. But yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I tried shooting them with light arrows. Did I not shoot this properly with a light arrow? Is that what it's telling me? Nope. I thought you could shoot these with light arrows without having to worry about it. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll try the bomb to you one more time. Well, we'll line it up properly and then we'll try one more time. There we go. No, that doesn't work either. Or is it... Is that a spider web? Is that supposed to be a spider web and just the, the texture's just insanely poor? Because if that's the case, then... Uh, that's going to be frustrating. Yep. Just a very poor texture. Oh, it creates... Floor masters, wall masters, one of the masters. Put away the sword. There we go. I do like how it like reflects the design back onto the wall as well. I don't remember this being a thing in uh, in the spirit temple. You know, random. I remember having things where some of them worked and some of them didn't, but I don't remember it being a. A luck-based challenge. Roll, link, roll. Cool. Got that one as well. Nice. And here we are. So then we just have to go through... This is going to take ages if we're going to have to go through this long black uh, pause menu buffer thing that seems to exist for some reason. Especially if I hit it twice for no reason. Come on, there we go. Well, that was a very unsuccessful first section, unfortunately. But there we go. Naboru, your power is with mine. Onwards we go. So uh, I guess you, I can't remember if you get the golden gauntlets in this dungeon normally. And then you have to come back and do the light one after that but then i can't remember which one you get oh my lord sorry about that i don't know if you heard but there is a uh, drunk guy who uh, definitely wanted to be in this video um <laughs> making quite a lot of noise um yeah the reason this room reminded me of that uh kid link dungeon thing not dungeon mini game with all of the chests is because i thought that using the lens of truth would maybe show you what's in these chests or like at least in vanilla it would but clearly not Let's not use the light arrow on this. We don't have the magic for it. Can you... Dude. There we go. Right. Let's start opening these. So there's the key. Oh. And there is another chest. Wow, there's so many chests in here. This was, like... I appreciate I got the golden gauntlets in the last possible dungeon and that I wouldn't have been able to get here until the dungeons were done, but... If there was a way to have Ganon's castle open from the beginning, you could have... This could be like a key chest room. Well, that was good timing for that, because I needed some health. Another one! Oh, wow. Nice. Could probably... I've, I've sp oh, my lord, another one. And then some... Well, they couldn't all be good, could they? We got a few good ones in there. Um, okay. 
I wonder if the randomizer sections these bits as well, or whether um, this key could be randomized to anywhere. Um, well, we have to see what comes out of this chest, I suppose. Another piece of heart. Wow. I suppose the amount of uh, places we've been in this game, um, on this journey, we are um, very close to doing a 100% run anyway, so it's not like... Not like 100% runs far away from us at this point, is it? But, sadly, the uh, the light section is not to be finished at this moment. So, we'll go do the fire section. Oh, and it's hot, so we need to put on me purple tunic. Maybe. Awesome. So yeah, I, I, I'm genuinely quite impressed the uh, um, the drunk guy managed to uh, like actually make enough noise for me to hear it. So obviously you guys don't know me and know my situation, but I um, I actually have all of my computer stuff in a basement, which to Americans is probably quite a standard thing, but in England it's it's not particularly common to have uh, oh that's actual death lava, not just um, Hurty lava. Um, but yeah, in England, it's really rare to have a basement. Um, so it's quite quite unique over here. And I definitely shouldn't be able to hear things going on in the street. You know, I have like a, a heavy hatch. So Mr. Drunk Person must have been very desperate to get in uh, to the video because he was uh, very, very loud. Especially because I didn't just hear him. I heard him with my headphones on. You know, so... Loud, loud people. It's one thing actually that over the whole isolation period that I really enjoyed. Um, I live quite close to a school um, and I fell down the hole and I have to do the whole room again. Um, I say quite close, like it's about a 10 minute walk away. But for people walking their kids to the school, um, it is like en route past my bedroom. So, you know, if you're not planning on getting up at 8 o'clock or whatever, then you better be planning on getting up at 8 o'clock or whatever, because those parents are going to make you if you don't. Um, and it's not, I don't, I don't, you know, begrudge the parents or the kids, you know, it's my fault for, for picking a place near a school. Um, and they've got to get their kids to school. It's just one of those little frustrations that since... Uh, the whole isolation thing. I guess I've been spoiled in not having to to think about it. Oh, I need the long shot for this, don't I? Oh, oh. Okay, so we need to get a long shot and come back. So I I need the long shot then. Ah, that is a problem. And there were seven chests in the light room, so it's probably not going to be in Ganon's castle. Which means I am absolutely going to have to work out, you know, what's next. Hmm. Like we said, we got the mini game as Child Link, with which we can use Lens of Truth to get round. Um, we've got the. Um, what else have we got? So yeah, we've got the mini game as Child Link. We can do. We've got. All of the Golden Skull Tillers, which I really hope is not the answer, because I really cannot be bothered with that. Um, what else have we got? I'm running out of things that... <laughs> well, that is uh, certainly something. What are the chances of that? Just, I, I mean, I was really struggling to work out what was left to actually do, but I guess that that resolves that issue. Oh. Go away. Can I have some 
I can't believe I got that there. So I need to go back to the fire one to finish that with the long shot. Um, hopefully get a key somewhere, and then I can finish the uh, finish the fire one. No, the light one. Sorry, because I needed the key for that. Right. Superb. So there's that bit. There's a switch down here. No! No! <laughs> what a pain. Definitely uh, don't remember having these issues when using a... Um, what's it called? Um, set of uh, the, the the proper Nintendo analog sticks. You know, this is definitely uh, an issue with having overly sensitive PlayStation sticks. Right, hit the switch. What does it actually do? Creates a chest, and I'm not going to get back up in time, am I? Nope. Back to the floor we go. Does the chest stay there, though? If the chest stays there, it's all good. If the chest doesn't stay there, then that's a pain. I don't know how they managed to make such a satisfying clock noise. The chest does stay there, good. Magic? No. Magic? Ooh, yes. It's only a quarter of a bar, but it's definitely what we needed. So that's a big key, so I'm guessing that would normally be the golden gauntlets. And here it is just a five rupee piece. So how would I get to this? I don't remember having to use the fire arrows anywhere in the in the Shadow Temple. Oh, that's how I would get to this. Nice, awkward, curved path. There we go. Oh, I should have got the Megaton Hammer out while I was out, while I was at it. Um, let's get light arrows whilst we're here, just because the uh, the menuing takes so long to do, with it being as slow as it is for whatever reason. Cool. So that opens that up. Just make our way back over that. I'm so glad that's not on a timer. I, I didn't even think about the possibility of it being on a timer. Just make my way cautiously around. Yeah, I kind of thought there'd be more uh, focus on the uh, hover boots that we got in the Shadow Temple rather than the Lens of Truth, which I appreciate is a nice throwback to to Child Link and whatnot, but it is kind of odd. Oh well, there's Impa's power. And another one down. We can zoom back into the fire one now. And actually go and do that, which is just dandy. I can't believe that the long shot was in there. It just shows you how much of the game you don't need to play, you know? I mean, I know I always bang on about how the reason that randomizers are so good is because it changes the game every time, but I haven't even finished the water temple, you know? Which is just crazy. And there's still quite a few chests in there, because we only got up to the, the point where you need the long shot to proceed anyway. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I had the jump up so badly. Super. See, I don't know why I'm doing such a bad job of something that is really quite simple. You know, it's, it's, it's stepping off platforms and onto platforms and stuff. It really shouldn't be a challenge. I'm going to need the long shot, which I now have, because I've got the long shot now, after all this time. I can't believe that. I really can't. Like, how much time did we spend worrying about the long shot? I don't know if we could get it or not. Oh. <laughs> See, the thing that annoys me is this is a comparatively simple, like, puzzle. This is not a challenging thing to do, really. I'm just making it unnecessarily hard for myself. And I just don't understand why I'm doing this to myself. 
Oh, look at all that magic. Yay. Awesome. Right, do not fall off now. Can you imagine? Like, this has taken me multiple attempts. And I can't even reach the stupid... I don't know why I could reach it one way, but not this way. Just quickly run around here. Don't be an annoying red bubble. Oh no. Oh no. Oh good, I don't have to collect all the crystals again. All the rupees, all the silver rupees. That's good. Oh man. I don't know how I'm doing such a bad job of this though. This is a relatively simple area that I just cannot seem to, to do. And I don't understand why I'm being so awful at it. Oh well. Oh well. You know, like my mother always used to say, worse things will happen to better people. I guess that applies to this as well. Oh, magic. And a heart. Now that is useful. It wouldn't have been useful if I had no arrows left, but I do. So the heart is more useful. There we go. Darunia's power has been added to mine. And on to the next one, which is not shadow. Before we've done that, it's water. Hey. Cool. I do like this little bit that's like a throwback to all of the different places you've been throughout the game. And we've got a couple of uh, chests here as well. Maybe one of them will have a key in it. That is not a key. Oh, <laughs> that was quite quite creepy actually, just to turn around and see him making his way across. Oh, that was, I didn't realise I had to kill them, but apparently I did. Super cutscene immunity. There's a key. Cool, so we'll do this water section. And then we can go on to the light section. And then I think it's just forest to go. Unless I can't count, which is always a possibility and a risk. Just release some random bugs. I don't know how much blue fire I actually need for this. Uh, this little temple. But to avoid too much back and forth in, we'll just grab three bottles now whilst we can. What they could have done is, um, like, had blue fire that expires. So, like, like this one, where you can only carry one bottle at a time, and that if you reload a zone, the red ice respawns. And in such, you can only get, like, two or three, maybe four, um, like, blue fires, and you have to use them in a specific order in order to progress. Oh, we're on a timer now. So what do we need to do? We need to get up there with one of those. So if we push you into the hole, right, we can push you. Oh, no, don't, don't do that. No, there we go. We can push you this way. Oh no, that one needs to go in the hole. Then that one goes across. Okay. Right, we get that then. Cool. Let's just reset the room. Yeah, so we actually want to do is push this one into the hole. See, this is how all block puzzles should be. The... You don't have to spend ages moving the block around. You just you work out what the puzzle is. You work out how to solve it. And then it's like a matter of seconds to actually do the physical solving. It's like, imagine how much more annoying that would have been if you had to go through the whole Link slowly dragging blocks around animation stuff. Cool. And that is partly why we got the extra blue fire. But while that melts, we will pull out our Megaton Hammer and hit this very rusty looking switch. I feel like that's something that they missed an opportunity on um, in the Water Temple, to be honest. 
Because, like, you get the Megaton Hammer in the Fire Temple, and excluding, like, uh, overworld exploration, you don't really use it again. Which is, to be fair, not dissimilar from the bombs, now I think about it. I mean, the bombs obviously have a lot of other uses um, in exploration, progression, etc, etc. Um, but the Megaton Hammer, outside of the Fire Temple, I can't think of a place where you have to use it. Please do correct me if I'm wrong. If there's a place that I'm just not thinking about that I should be, please, please, please point it out. But I can't think of anywhere where you must use the Megaton Hammer outside of the Fire Temple. For, for a normal playthrough, this is obviously... For a randomizer, it's different because some of the optional extras sometimes are not so optional. But I really am struggling with that, actually. Cool. And then into the forest section. Oh. I hate these wolfos. These are the embodiment of what's wrong with uh, Legend of Zelda's um, combat, to be honest. But I need the fire arrow again. It's quite a lot of use of the fire arrow in here. And I never got the ice arrows. So there must be a few things that I'm missing because there's a few items that I haven't got. I suppose I haven't done the mask trading sequence. Oh, I've got to equip Din's fire. But yeah, I haven't done the mask trading sequence, so there's a few items hidden behind that. And therefore I haven't done the Mask of Truth stuff. Because there's a few items hidden behind that. And then yeah, just the, the other half of the Water Temple, which I can now do. I wonder what Morph has got. Does it tell me in this? I know that you can like pull up the information somehow. And I can't remember how. Oh well. There is a way to do it. Oh, so the forest temple is going to use the hover boots. Well, that's interesting. For sure. It's not what you would have thought would have been the case, is it? Okay, so I'm going to actually get out the bombs. I'll, I'll equip the light arrows now as well. Just get them on. So we'll get the light arrows on. We'll put bombs back on. Nice. Not having to worry about what boots uh, you're wearing or you've got equipped, sorry. It's a very nice touch and I can't believe I just pushed pause again with this long, long, long wait. There we go. Cool. Okay, so there's a switch down there. Oh, I've got the iron boots on. Oh, that was lucky. Superb. What does the switch do, I wonder? I kind of would have thought that this... Yeah, like I said, I thought this would have been a Shadow Temple thing. For one. Um, but for two, I also kind of would have presumed that the forest one of these would have more to do with the Poe sisters. You know? I, I feel like they are... Oh... Yeah, I feel like the Poe sisters are very hard done by here. Come on then, Windy Mouth. There we go. Climb up here. Can you make that? No. Okay. So you can't make that. So you're going to have to do it properly, I guess. And obviously, there's a block of time here, isn't there? Which I'm assuming will just make this first one a bit easier. Yeah. So we grab this one. That blows us to this one, which we can climb on top of here for. Throw that down there. Can we get down from this? Thank you. Right, run across to here. Whoop. I love how like they thought about the friction of the hover boots as well. Like if there's any sort of like 
ideology or ideology it's not right it's any idea that the hover boots should uh make you hover then obviously they they don't touch the ground in the same way and they actually thought about that and i just love it and that last breath of the fan just blew me oh you fool yeah that last breath of that fan just blew me off in that last second there super gonna have to kill this guy again it's poor bmos right superb I'll be honest, this is uh this has taken a turn for the worse. I thought this would be quite a quick episode where I just zoom through these chambers that you know you do every time you play the game. Um and yet I'm doing an awful job of clearing them. Right, but I believe that leaves just the light chamber to go. Unless I'm wrong. I don't think I am. Let's see, we've done fire shadow. Spirit was the first one we did, then Water, Fire, Forest. Yeah, no, we've done all. Cool. Yeah, it's just this one. Now we've got our extra key. I also, I think it's a shame with what they did here. They could have done so much with, uh, with the Light Dungeon, you know. They could have introduced a whole new thing specific to it. Which would have kept fans super happy with all of their speculation about, or not speculation about, their desire for a um a light temple in the game um oh there's the last one oh, wait i said there's the last one there it is cool now the, i love how like once the balls have hit you they change their direction so the balls are going the opposite direction where they've hit me now they're both going the same way again why did the timer not stop? You know, I did everything. Um. Oh. Ooh, that one was actually a little bit too close. Crap all that. So, do I need the lens of truth? Long loading times. Lens of truth. There it is. Ah, yeah. I mean, I didn't need the lens of truth for that, did I? Really? Awesome. So is that the last one? Brilliant. No more protective field for Ganon. Now, I don't remember seeing Ganon's key and I've had this file now for so long that knowing my luck I probably turned on Ganon's key somewhere in the overworld and we just haven't come across it yet and if I've done that then I'm an idiot but I don't remember where you'd normally get it you know just avoid all these keys super quick Yeah, I, I literally, I don't remember where you would normally get Ganon's key, but we'll, we'll just keep climbing up anyway. This one down. Can you not? Yeah, there we go. That's two down. Just a final, a final boss rush, which is always great just before the final boss of the game, you know? Makes you feel really accomplished to see how all of your equipment goes against those that maybe you struggled with in the past, because I'm sure the Iron Knuckle is one of these. And there's Ganon's key. Nice. These, not so much. These go back into... To be honest, most of the enemies that I have this complaint about seem to be from the Forest Temple, but these really show the downside of this style of combat, where you're just waiting for the opening. You know? And it's just like there's no there's no opening at all for me to attack whilst i'm waiting for him to attack it's like even there it may have looked like i did a good thing but what actually happened was that he went to attack in that frame oh good it isn't here phew 
Oh, good, because I was starting to panic again about what I have and haven't actually gone and looked at. Because there is um, not much left. And if I can't find something at this point, then I, I just won't find it at all. Um, oh, it's two iron knuckles. Okay, can you take them one at a time? Yeah, you can. I like that they're like black and white, like chess pieces almost. So there's a good old um, thing that not many people know, which I won't do. Uh, sorry, I will do. But you can. Nope, that's not the right one. It's uh, If you play the song with Storms, it rusts the iron knuckles and makes them even slower than they already were. Okay. But, you know. It's, I think it actually gets, I think they actually tell you that in Majora's Mask. They actually tell you that if you want to beat the, the Iron Knuckles, that's something you can try. I think that these though, just to add to the difficulty, they should always both activate when one activates. I do appreciate that like, they lose their armor halfway through and become more aggressive. You know, like I, I, just, you know, I just think Iron Knuckles are one of the cooler enemies in any game ever. They're quite intimidating. They, uh, they make sense in in the grand scheme of things. And I'm going to equip the Master Sword now because this is our final showdown with G-Man himself. And you know, you've got to do it right. You've got to do it with the right gear on. Now, you know, we're going to put my green tunic, gold shield beautiful so that's one thing that um does suck in the base game is that well i know people disagree with me on this so bear with but the um uh the choice of clothing that you have to you doesn't match up so well at the end i don't think because you end up with the mirror shield which normally has a red banding around it um the golden gauntlets a blue tunic a red tunic and a green tunic um, and like the you only really have the one option to go with the Goron tunic so that the red matches the red and then the gold just accents it because gold does go well with red but if you want to wear the Zora tunic you kind of got to not wear the mirror shield because the red and the blue they don't clash but it's too much color you know this to me is one of those things that will forever be in my head um because I like when I first got here I was quite young um, and it's just such a cool moment when you get to the top of that tower and it was him playing really <laughs> I was gonna say it was him playing the uh, the organ the whole time which was the music that obviously you were listening to as you uh, climbed up I appreciate that you can use the bottle um, but I'm not here for that, so we're just gonna, gonna do it properly. And there's no uh, awkward fences around so that, you know, the camera can't get all jibbed out like it did in the Forest Temple way back in whatever episode it was that we did that. Come on, Ganon. This is like the best game of tennis ever. There we go. Oh no! Come on! <laughs> Oh, that's killer. That was really, really frustrating. Climb all the way back to the top now. Sigh. So this is what happens when you don't use the bottle, you know? Do it properly or don't do it at all sort of thing here. Right, come on then, boy. Let's go. Tick. Tick. <laughs> There we go. I think this is the one that will hit him. I was wrong. Oh my lord, how... Oh, and that's when you're supposed to shoot with the light arrow. Uh, I messed up. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that was a fast one. 
Yeah, it's been so long since I fought Ganon that I forgot, or Ganondorf, I should say, that I forgot about the um, the bit where you had to shoot him with the light arrows. I knew it was part of the boss fight. I just didn't remember it was this part of the boss fight, you know? Superb. Nip over to this corner and begin the tennis. We're almost in first person view at the moment, which is quite fun. Oh no, I missed. My friends and I have uh, recently been getting back into um, Grand Theft Auto and uh, recently found the tennis mini games in the online of that, which are just fantastic. Like, bearing in mind, it's a mini game inside a game. Oh, I messed up. It's a mini game inside of a big game. It has quite a lot of nuance to it. You can like do lob shots, top spin, back spin. Uh, you can control your aim of where your shots go and everything. Um, it's not like Wii Sports Tennis, where you could just like randomly flail around and eventually hit the uh, hit the ball sort of thing. And to be clear, I love Wii Sports Tennis. I think Wii Sports Tennis is up there with one of the best games on the planet. And I have very positive memories from playing that game. Oh, how did that hit me? But yeah, I have very positive memories of uh, of Wii, Wii Sports Tennis. Or Wii Sports anything, really. Wii Sports is just awesome. Well, the first one was. The Wii Sports Resort, I didn't think was quite as good. Um, but Wii Sports was so cool. with The, the tennis, which was just bonkers fun. Um, and the best thing is, is like I said a second ago, it doesn't have the nuance that a lot of tennis games can have. Um, it just has... Um, just has you, you flailing around um, which is great because it means that anyone can play you know you can you can have a family party and have a bunch of people that don't like playing video games or don't normally play video games and they can get oh I've run out of magic I need to jump down whoa okay well I mean that's one way to get down Super. I can't believe I ran out of magic. Serves me right for missing, I suppose, though, doesn't it? Really? Hearts and arrows. No magic. No magic. Really? There we go. So that was all hearts and arrows. The, all of those pots. So what... How are you meant to win this fight? There we go. There we go. I was getting a bit panicky there. There was just no no magic at all. And white arrows eat a lot of magic power. I suppose it makes sense that the light arrows don't have the same effect as the mirror shield. Whoop. Um, because obviously the mirror shield is reflecting normal light, whereas light arrows are supposed to be the element of, of goodness. Um, in the world sort of thing whereas um, in Majora's Mask they are literally like arrows of light so it makes sense that you can uh, shoot the sun faces in Majora's Mask but not in uh, not in Ocarina of Time it works you know it works in my head um, which is always positive um Not, not hanging around for that, Ganon. I thought we were just playing a nice game of tennis and you've got to go and, and ruin it with your stupid mega attack. Just just play tennis with me. That's what we're here to do. You know, that's what we all know this boss battle to be. There we go. You know, we don't want any surprises. We just want to... We just want to play, play tennis, and have a good time. But yeah, what I was about to say is that I really like how his cape is degrading as the fight goes on. I think that's quite a good little touch. You know, there we go.
All of the glass is shattering. And much like the pause screen, there's a long break here. Zelda, you're fine. How you doing, girlie? I also like how the this version of Ganondorf uses the last of his power to try and kill you. I, I just, I think it's a nice touch. It really shows how evil he is, you know, rather than it just being generic. Um, or oh, you won the battle. Because let's face it, they're so, like, villains always have their final speech, you know. Um, let's equip the big Goron sword again. But yeah, heroes, uh, villains always have their, their silly final speech where they monologue a bit. So I like that, you know, Ganon used the lot or Ganondorf. I keep saying Ganon. I like that Ganondorf used his um, final bit of speech uh, to, to bring this castle down and try and actually do or finish the job that he set out to do. I also really like this sequence as well. I think it's really clever, you know. I like that you've got this, this really tight timer and everything's a bit stressful um, and as you go down you get attacked by enemies and I like that there's actually a timer that's not just to give me like I know I know you can do this in like oh no but yeah I know you can do this section in like without glitches or anything in like 80 seconds I get that but you gotta remember for the target audience of this game you know, it's it's very reasonable to uh, set a close timer on them. Especially with the combat that I'm waiting for to happen. I'm pretty sure it should have happened, but maybe it's just not that chamber. But I'm pretty sure they put you in combat situations whilst you do this as well. One thing that they definitely should have removed um, in the 3D version, which I don't think they did, is this flipping slowdown of Zelda every five seconds ago. Now she gets put in flames. Oh, what a shock. Uh, we've got two of these boys again. But again, this uh, it exemplifies the the issue with the combat in that I have now lost control of the timer that they've set me. There we go. Because it obviously a lot of it is built around whether they attack or not. What would be funny is if they left the clock up whilst Zelda did that. If they gave you like an extra, I don't know how long it actually takes to do it, like what, three seconds, should we say, to do this? Um, if they add it and you have to do it 10 times, they added 30 seconds onto the clock or something, but they left the clock up on the screen ticking down while she was doing it, that'd be funny. Don't gasp, Zelda, just run. Awesome. Just gotta keep going. Stop gasping, Zelda. Just be running. Don't worry about me. Trust me, I have literally fought demons and beasts. So a little rock is not gonna is not gonna be the end of me. I also just literally fought Ganon shooting electricity at me. Um ugh. Why are you even here? What a silly place to stand. You're going to die again, Redead. There we go. Superb. I still can't believe how much damage I took from that Redead earlier on, just from having the, the speed limiter removed from the emulator. Um, so for, for those who don't know, emulators, they have to limit the speed that the game runs at, otherwise your computer is way too powerful. Like, if you think about how much technology has improved since the N64 was out, my computer runs this game at, like, 4,000 frames per second. Um, I appreciate that's an exaggeration um, and doesn't get reflected on my 144 hertz display. But the point stands is it makes it go stupendously fast. There we go. Ganon's desperation continues. Here he is as Ganon, and I have no sword.
Although, because it wasn't equipped, it jibbed out a bit there, but who cares? Don't worry, Ganon, I still have a sword. And then Na'vi's all like, even with his dark power, I won't leave you this time, Link. Oh, do I actually have to re-equip it? Does it not just... That's frustrating. Like, it still, it still counts as de-equipping your sword. Alright, see, this is what I don't get. Like, you hear Zelda, like, squeal as I get hit then as well, which is also just a nice little touch. Um, but what I don't get is, um, why, in this era, they were willing to give you such a challenging boss fight that really, like, made you think about how you were taking the fight on. You know, like, you had to actually put thought into how you were going to do this because you didn't have your Master Sword. Like, were you going to use your Megaton Hammer? Were you going to use Deku Sticks? Are you going to have done the long-ass trading sequence to get the big Goron Sword? You know? It actually... It's just good. It's not just a normal bit of combat. And uh, Majora's Mask is the same, you know? How you approach the final battle depends on how you've done in the game. It's one thing that I think Twilight Princess did badly. And I know that the argument is there that Twilight Princess, you learn the, sco the sword skills as you play through it and stuff. Um, but because they're optional, it doesn't base anything um, on... Like, there's no need for them. And you might get the odd opportunity to, uh, to use them, but it's not like it changes the fight significantly. Um, whereas you think about how much the big Goron Sword changes this fight, or how much the, um... Go through his legs, Link. Come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, if you think about how, or how much the Fierce Deity changes the uh, Majora's Mask fight, turns it from, like, quite a challenging three-phase boss fight to just an utter joke, you know? Um, and I just wish they did that in more games. Like, Skyward Sword, I would say, is the only exception to that. Um, because it built the whole game on one-to-one -one sword control. So the final fight isn't just Link's skill, it's it's how good are you with the sword, you know? Whereas every other game has been... Um, oh, can you stop with the swinging swords and the screaming Zelda, please? Um, what was I saying? That's it. Yeah, so like... It's... Um, oh, Christ. That was a lot of damage there. Um, yeah, like, it's down to you to have got better with the with the swords and stuff. Um, whereas, like, in this game, because you don't actually have that one-to-one -one sword control, all I've got better at doing is, is pushing the B button. Or, in Twilight Sword's case, well, if I play on the GameCube, it's still just pushing the B button at the right time, or the A button at the right time. Um... There we go, Zelda. And now, we shall slay you once more. As the Master Sword glows, it's Fee! Fee still with us! Yay! Um, yeah, so like, yeah, Skyward Sword just had that awesome, awesome one-to-one -one stuff. This had the actual challenge to the boss fight. Majora's Mask boss fight was quite hard as well. But I felt that they they started pulling their punches a little bit, especially with Wind Waker. I thought that game was really easy and, and to be honest, I thought Wind Waker was quite poor. Um, I thought the, the Great Sea was way too empty and the game was way too slow. Um, I know a lot of people disagree with that and that's fine because like my best friend loves Wind Waker. Love, 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 loves it. And they could sail around in that game endlessly and be happy. Um, so, you know, I, I get it. I, I, I get the love for uh, Wind Waker. I just, I just didn't like it. The same with Skyward Sword. I, I really like it and a lot of people don't. It's just, it's an opinion and that's, you know, what's so great. It'd be boring if opinions didn't vary 
from person to person. It'd take away any point of discussion. I like how he screams the other two people's names, but doesn't scream yours. Like, they couldn't have put, a, like, a little single line of code around that that just uppercases it. There we go. Into the ether with you. So, he's obviously sealed in the Sacred Realm. Which the Master Sword is the key to. So therefore, with what we know from Skyward Sword, is the Sacred Realm inside the Master Sword? Ooh. There's a theory for you to go and watch on one of the very many Zelda theory channels' is things. There we go. It is peaceful once again. Thanks to us and the Seven Sages, well, Six Sages and the Seventh Sage, who's not actually one of the Six Sages, but you know. So we must put down the sword. It's actually really sad, the end of this game. Like, if you think about how traumatic this whole experience must have been to Link, um, and then he just gets sent back to his child timeline. So, like, if he stayed as an adult, at least he could get help and talk to people about what he's gone through and people wouldn't think he's a nutter. But if he's a, you know, as a child, and he goes to like a therapist and he's like, oh, I remember when Ganondorf turned Castle Town into a into a redead city sort of thing. Everyone was dead and everything was on fire. Psychiatrists just could look at him and be like, what the hell are you on about, man? But if he stayed in this timeline, he saw that psychiatrist, psychiatrist well, yeah, you know, it's tough times for everyone. Um, let's get you through this with our with our good therapy and stuff. But yeah, whereas it's going to be a completely different type of therapy if the child link if he went through it. It's no wonder he goes looking for Navi in, in Majora's Mask. No wonder at all. I must, it must have been horrid for him. I really do actually feel quite sorry for the hero of time. He has the worst, the worst possible um, story of lack of gratitude and stuff. But yeah, so there you go. That was the, uh, the randomizer Ocarina of Time. I will once again link to the randomizer in the in the description if you want to give it a try. Like I said, make sure you generate a spoiler log because I could have avoided a whole bunch of that middle depression um, with, with the spoiler log. This particular randomizer has taken me a very long time. I'd say they'd normally take about six to eight hours. Um, and this one's just significantly over on that because I got so stuck. Um, but yeah, if you, if you love the base game and you know it-ish, then by all means, get one, you know? You can message me on my Discord um, if you get stuck, or you can message the randomized community on their Discord if you get stuck, or you can comment below or whatever if you get stuck. But yeah, everyone should experience it in this way. Um, and if you if you feel like you've got the spare money, then please donate it to the guys who make the randomizer, because this, this software that they've made that does this is free. Um, all you've got to do is work out how you're going to get your ROM file, so whether you've got a cartridge reader and you can rip it directly from a cartridge which would be the the correct way to do things um because obviously owning the rom to a game you don't have the cartridge for is illegal so don't be doing that um but either way you get the rom you uh upload it to their software and they do all of the work for you and it is it's awesome you know it takes it like 10 seconds to do it all and then re-download the rom and stuff and Every tool they bring out, it just better, it removes more soft log areas, it just kind of cures everything, it's great. Really is great. But yeah, so that was the, the end of that randomizer. Um, I might take a small break from randomizers and then come back with a Majora's Mask one. Um, just so we've kind of got that going uh, in order. Then, if I'm feeling brave after Majora's Mask, I might do a Wind Waker one. But I don't know Wind Waker as well as I know Ocarina and Majora's Mask. Um, it just, like I said, I just didn't enjoy it as much. Um, so I definitely need to play it through once without a randomizer again to 100% to make sure that I, I know where everything is and, and what I'm doing and such. Um, and then after that, maybe a Twilight Sword. Um, Twilight Sword? 
Is it called Twilight Sword? No, Twilight Princess. What's wrong with me? Um, yeah, maybe we'll give one of those a go. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. This video finished like 10 minutes ago and I'm still just banging on. So I'll leave you guys with the happy celebratory Hyrule who are saved from the, the evil tyranny of Ganon and Ganondorf and therefore demise. So with that, I have been Avalon. This has been Ocarina of Time, randomized, and I will see you guys later.